Hey, you doers, what's up? It's your boy, Happy Chappy here. Look, it's been a long time. It's been months since we did one of these top videos, and we're gonna be back with another one here. Some of you guys on the last video were not happy that we had to use a little bit of redstone and possibly some quartz, too, in order to get the starter farms. I mean, pff, sorry. So we've dulled these ones down here. Now, the resources are down to basically as little as possible, and we are gonna cover stone, wood, and food on this video. So now, let's get into it. So for the cobblestone farm, all you're gonna need is seven cobblestone and four slabs you can even get away with three slabs and a single trap door if you would like to we'll show you here afterwards a single water bucket a single lava bucket a single hopper and then your chest you can even eliminate this chest and just use the hopper as the collection place but uh yeah some of these farms are going to require you to have some temporary blocks so just grab a couple of those two before you get into it and now the first one up on the list is going to be the cobblestone generator so the first thing you're going to do for this is just put down your chest with your hopper running into it and on the back side you're going to place down a solid block with a temporary block on top of it just like that then on top of the hopper what you're going to do is you're going to place down one two temporary blocks like so okay you're going to put four solid blocks all around the top side you're gonna put two solid blocks on the side here like this, a slab on the back side, a slab on the front side, and then two more slabs on either side. Now what you're gonna do is just remove all of these temporary blocks, grab your water, put it in the back hole, so you wanna make sure that it is in the back here, and then you're gonna put your lava in top. First thing you're gonna see is some cobblestone, and now all you have to do is just stand here and hold down left click. Now, if you wanna make this thing completely AFK, all you have to do is just press F3 and T. It's gonna reload your resource packs. Even if you don't have any, don't worry about it. And there we go. I no longer have my hand on the mouse and I can just sit here and AFK farm all of this cobblestone. And as you can see, just from that little short little burst, we already have 20 sitting inside the thing. And if you're wondering why these are stone and not cobblestone, I'm running silk touch right now. S silly me, I'm so sorry. It should be cobblestone in here though if you're not running silk touch. Now this is a little slow and inefficient. So in order to make it a little bit more efficient, all you have to do is extend it by two. So what you're gonna do is just bring along two extra hoppers, run those ones going in like so, Bring your slabs out and around the hoppers, okay? Do some solid blocks on the back side too, like that. Then you're gonna wanna run this front one out, run the side ones out too as well. Put an end block on it that is gonna contain the lava on the inside. Run your slabs down around the back like this, and then put your solid block on the end. Now what you can do is remove this block, put some solid blocks on the bottom to hold the water in. You're gonna to wanna to crouch shift to do this and you're gonna to wanna to waterlog those two spots right in there, filling this entire section up. And then lava bucket, remove this center one here and then go lava bucket again. Now you can clean this up just by removing any of the corner blocks that you see here. So it's gonna be the same principle. You just stand here, aim towards the back, hold down your left click. F3 and T, so you'll get this screen to show up. You can let go of everything on your mouse and keyboard, and there you go. You're sitting there farming. You always have a piece of stone or a piece of cobblestone there ready for you. And as you can see, in absolutely no time, yeah, we're collecting quite a bit of stone here, and it's, it's nice. It is very nice. And that right there is the stone farm and the cobblestone farm all done and complete. Okay, so I put in some blocks so that way you guys can see the dimensions a little bit better. It's very straightforward. Now let's move on to the wood farm. Now for the wood farm, all you're gonna need is the 49 dirt. Literally, that's it. It's it's hilariously simple. But in order to upgrade it, in order to be able to catch all of the saplings and the sticks and not have to stand around and you know be able to be there to catch them, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little water funnel system. So bring along, you know, probably a stack of builder blocks, some water in order to make an infinite water source, and then two single trap doors. You don't even need a hopper for this one. Okay, now the first thing you're gonna do with the tree farm is you're gonna make a 15 by nine box. So 15 long by nine blocks deep. Okay, so that right there is 15 by nine on both sides. And then what you're gonna do is right here in front of it, you're just gonna dig it down one block and you're gonna make that all the way across. So just like that, pretty straightforward. Yeah, and then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna come to the corners here. You're gonna knock out that block on either side and then come inside the pit here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put water along this entire backside here. 
Now you only need the two initial water buckets because as you can see, you could steal water from down the line and then replace it and you are good to go. Now, as you can see, you're gonna have all of your water flow down. It's gonna come here towards this little center spot. So now with this little blank spot here where the water doesn't flow over to, what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna dig that down one more and then three blocks in front of it, you're gonna dig this out and you're gonna make it too deep. So you should have this little four long trench here. Then at the very end of this trench, what you're gonna do is you're gonna dig it down one more block like so. On this upper block here, so in front of your little three deep, you're gonna place down a trap door. You should be able to put a piece of grass over top of this trap door. And then what we need to do is we need to put a water source there and then fill these three slots with water too as well. So just run back up to your little water section here. One water source there, one in the very bottom. Grab two more water sources from your back wall, water source and water source. As you can see, all of your items come floating up to you now. Now what we can do is just take our final trap door, place it here, put a piece of grass right here, grab our builder blocks and then run a row in front of this just to contain any items that do come out. So we don't want to have any items fall out of this farm. We want everything to kind of fall right into there. Okay, so that right there is what everything looks like from the front side. As you can see, it is very straightforward. Okay, our final step is just to come to the back wall here. What we are going to do is we're going to count in three blocks. We're going to build up one and then three temporary blocks on the inside. Once we have that complete, this is where we are going to build our 7x7 platform. Okay, and with your platform and everything done, now all you need to do is get your saplings. We've got some bone meal on us too in order to speed up the process. So now every other block, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to place down whatever tree that you do want. Okay, so that is every other block, except for when you're doing the dark oak. The dark oak, you can go pretty much every single block. But now, as you can see, if we just apply a little bit of bone meal to all of these trees... Yeah, no issues whatsoever, whatsoever. Now you may be wondering why I'm wearing netherite armor and also carrying a stone pickaxe in my inventory right now. Starter farms, early games, so we're gonna play this as if you don't have any mending on any of your tools whatsoever. So durability is a little bit of a thing. Stay away, stay away, sir. So we're gonna do two quick tests and we're just gonna see. We're gonna do one with a stone pickaxe and then we're gonna do one with an iron pickaxe. Stone one's gonna be first, so let's say you're a little low on iron at the moment and you don't want your tools to be down in durability. That's what the first test is gonna be. Stone pickaxes are easy to come by. Okay. So as you can see, we just got through all of that birch with a stone pickaxe. It didn't take too long, so I'll put the timer up on the screen there. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, we still have all of the saplings and everything here dropping. So we are going to have enough to in order to replant. But yeah, one stone pickaxe, a stack and a half of logs, and we have more items dropping down here just kind of waiting for us to pick them up. Now, as you can see, the pit, you may want to make this a little bit bigger. But, I mean, if you are active around this farm, you technically don't even need the water pit in there. So, yeah. Use that at your discretion. Now, for taller trees like the jungle, the oak, and the acacia and stuff like that, you are going to want to put a seven block gap and then put these blocks here in top in order to kind of contain their height. But as you can see, you could just jamble everything all together in there. So we've got all of the trees except for the dark oak in there. They're all jammed together because of the roof that we put on there. None of them could get, eh, you know, too outrageous in growth. So now let's just jump in here, see exactly what we get and see how long it takes us to get through these with an iron axe. And as you can see with an iron pickaxe, you can get through that with, yeah, three quarters of the durability left. So if you don't have mending, just make up an axe really quickly and then leave it here on an item frame. Bam. And you should be good to go. That right there is what the entire farm should look like. Again, increase or decrease the size depending on your needs. Same with the water pit too as well. You may need to increase and decrease that size just to collect everything if you would like to. Completely up to you. But now, let's move on to the next farm. This one's actually the favorite one on my list. Okay, and then the last one up on the list, which is my favorite one, is actually the automatic crop farm. Now, as you can see, no redstone for this one whatsoever. We don't even need hoppers. All we're gonna need to do is bring along some water buckets in order to create an infinite water source, a single lever, four signs, four trap doors, 
36 walls. These can even be fences if you do have a lot of wood. So if you did build a wood farm and you got a lot of wood sitting around, you could use fences here. Four slabs, three solid blocks. You can even just bring along seven solid blocks. Two stairs. These aren't really necessary, but they do make things a little bit easier. And then your crop of choice. Okay, so the first thing to do for this farm is you're going to make an 11 by 11 trench in the ground. So one, two, three. So an 11 by 11 trench. It's just square. Once you have your 11 by 11 trench done, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the center and you're going to dig out a row all the way to the middle. And you're going to do this on all four sides, all the way to the front here. And you're actually going to make that two blocks deep. And then determine where the front of your farm is going to be and carry this trench out four blocks in total. So four blocks out and two blocks deep. Now we're going to take our trap doors and in this row running towards the front here, we're going to leave a two block gap and we're going to place down our trap door there. We're going to come to the front and we're going to place another one here in front, another one on top like so. Then we're going to take our signs and we're going to put a sign on all four of these openings here. So replace this piece of grass here and then put a sign down on top of it. And once you're all done, this is what you should have. So a sign on all four sides and your other two trap doors in the front section here, ready for all your water to go in place. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to create an infinite water source. This is where you're going to gather your water from and you're going to place your water in each of these corners. As you can see, the water should flow from the corners towards these signs and stop. Now we're going to get two more water buckets and we're going to fill all of these sections down here in front of the signs. And what you should get is on the end here, you have your water flowing towards the front and all your other water flowing towards the side here. Now we're actually going to want to back this trap door up one block. Go place it so that there's only a one block gap right here. And then place your final water source right in front of that trap door. As you can see, it flows here towards the front. And now same thing as the other farm. We just need to fill these two sections here with some water. Cover this section here with some grass and we are done. So that is our water and everything in place there. Now what we're going to want to do is we just want to fill in this intersection here. Do not place any grass along the outside. And then we can grab our hoe and we're going to till all of this soil. Okay, once you have all of your soil tilled, it should all start to turn into wet farmland, except for the center part there, which is perfectly fine. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to put down a builder block in the corners. You want to do this on all four corners. You can even make this too high if you would like to. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your walls and on the back sides of these blocks, you're just going to run your walls out and over top of the water. You're going to skip the corners and you're going to do this on all four sides. And with that complete, now we're just going to take our stair. We're going to go one stair here, slab above the wall, run a temporary block with another stair right there in front of it. And then we're going to go slab, slab, slab with a temporary block in between. We're going to put a solid block on all three sides of this temporary block. Remove this piece of grass or temporary block. Put a trap door in the bottom, a lever on either one of these three blocks and then your water on the inside. Once you have that complete, as you can see here, when we flip the lever, the entire area gets covered in water, pushing whatever is down there towards the outside. And now what we need to do is we need to plant our crops. And believe it or not, you don't even have to step in the farm to do it. All you have to do is stand up here by your lever, start planting all of your crops, Once all of your crops have been planted, all you need to do now is just wait for these things to grow up a little bit. Once all of your crops have grown up, as you can see here, they're all nice and big. They're sitting at level or age seven. You just have to walk up here, flip your lever. All the crops get pushed towards the outside. Turn your lever off and end up floating up right here for you. You don't even have to open that. They all just end up in your inventory. And just from that one haul, we got nearly four stacks of potatoes. Now you are going to need 64 plus 12 in order to replant. So as you can see, we get two and a half stacks at least, at least every time we flip that lever and those crops are grown up. <laughs> Pretty sweet, eh? We don't even need redstone or anything for this. So now you just take your 64 crops, replant them in their little sections. Once all of your crops are planted, just repeat the process, wait for them to grow, and you are good to go. I absolutely love this thing.
So there you have it, you guys. There is three of the most basic beginner Minecraft farms that you can absolutely come up with. All three of these provide you with the basic materials that you need in order to keep going in Minecraft or start going in Minecraft anyway. So wood, food, and stone. All three of them are expandable. All three of them are upgradable once you do start to get some redstone and everything in place. But um, yeah, all three of them are also very fantastic. But that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So leave a like, consider subscribing, shop Happy Chapel for your world downloads and everything. Links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We're almost at 70K, you guys. Oh my goodness, we're almost there. Hit the subscribe button. The end of the year is coming. The end of the year is coming. Love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.